Hey, it's Natasha from YMO Homeschool. Today I have some resources to show you for a weather homeschool science unit study. Now, we are not unit study type homeschoolers, but my third grader science is broken up into units. Her next unit is going to be weather. And so when I'm at the thrift store or wherever, if I see resources that go along with what my kids will be learning that year, then I will go ahead and pick them up. So I have some thrift store resources here, and I also have some Usborne resources here that could totally make up a weather unit on its own without an actual curriculum. So the first thing I actually found was this wacky, weird weather, make your own tornado, learn the science of storms, make your own powerful weather effects, create your own tidal wave. I thought this was really cool. What makes a tsunami, etc. And it says rain, wind, snow, hail, thunder, lightning, heat waves. Weather can sure be weird. There are all kinds of forces at work in nature that create all kinds of weather conditions. In this kit, you'll unleash tornadoes, explode a volcano, and create a blizzard. You'll learn some really cool science about weather and what makes it so weird. So I got this at the thrift store. I don't see even the tag on it anymore, so I don't remember how much it was, but I'm sure you can find this on Amazon. So anyway, inside it has, let me show you what it comes with. It has all these supplies in this package here, and um, it has the different things here, baking soda, color tablets, snow powder, and citric acid to do all the experiments. It has, looks like it has literally everything you need in this kit. And it also has this book telling you how to do the experiments. So that's pretty cool. So it looks like it has seven different experiments in this. So that's really awesome. So I think this was a great find. Okay, so in addition to that, I got this Evan Moore um, Learning About Weather Workbook, um, grades K to 1 at the thrift store at Goodwill for 99 cents. And so though my third grader is the one that will be doing the weather unit, of course, if we're going to do fun experiments and things, I include my other younger ones. So that would be my first grader and my preschooler. And so this has different activities that um, my first grader can do and my preschooler can even do these like this one, color the toys that need when to work. My preschooler could do that. And it also gives little experiments, cut and paste activities and different things. So I thought this was a good find. And then I have this weather book. This is a Scholastic, a first discovery book. I have quite a few of these that I found at the thrift store and I really like them because they have this like overlay. You see that? So then it comes off and that goes away. And so uh, my kids really enjoy these books and it gives, you know, scientific information. So found that. And then um, I have this Weather Words by Gail Gibbons. You probably all have heard of Gail Gibbons, and I'm sorry for my preschooler chatting in the background singing Daniel Tiger. Okay, so Weather Words and what they mean. So that's pretty cool. This is a book that we can read all together. And then I found, and that was 99 cents at Goodwill, I found this and I can read weather poems for all seasons book. And I thought this would be great to do a poetry tea time with, right? We can take turns reading the weather poems in here and have some snacks and drinks and be good to go. So I thought we will incorporate a weather poetry tea time. And I thought that would be pretty fun. And this is easy reading. So, of course, this is says grades two to four, but um, both my first grader and my third grader, I think, will enjoy this. And then my, uh, my older girls can read something else if they want. <laughs> and then I got some Usborne things. I got this Usborne Lift the Flap Seasons and Weather book. I just thought this was really cool that my... Um, my 
youngest would really like this, but it also has, you know, good information. And my first grader will like this. My third grader probably will even still like this. So I just try to kind of tie us all in together when we're doing stuff. Summer at the beach. Um, there we go. He's a little surfing dude. Anyway, so got that. And then I got, and that was $13.99. I did buy this new. Um, but I actually got that. Um, I had an Usborne party and I got these things as like my rewards. So I actually didn't, well, I got some, some things free and then I got like an additional like half off of $50 or something. Anyways, you go back and watch that video, but I got a good deal on these. And then um, this Usborne weather picture book pack. I haven't opened this yet, but it was $14.99. But again, this might have been one of the freebies or at least half price. Sunny day, the rainy day, the windy day, and the snowy day. So I got all of that. So that could totally make up a weather unit for a young elementary student. And I hope that was helpful. It gives you some things to look for on Amazon or when you're out and about thrift shopping. But anyways, thanks for watching.